Thank you. Your Excellency, my dear wife, my partner, my friend, my advisor. Your Excellency, my brother, our vice presidential candidate, and Governor of Delta State, Governor Ifai Okoa, our National Chairman, Your Excellency, my brother, Governor of Oshun State, very good brother of mine, Nuruddin Adeleke Distinguished Senator, Governor, the Deputy Governor of Akwaibom State, the Deputy Governor of Delta State, other governors on their way coming, and then the Governor of Edo is just by the gate and his dear wife. Your Excellency, so many former governors here present. Havli Elimoke of Cross River State, Gebre Susan and his dear wife of Benue State, and so many other former deputy governors here present. Mr. Speaker, Akwaibo House of Assembly and his dear wife, my Lord the Chief Judge, distinguished senators here present, I have the minority leader in the Senate, Philip Aduda. I have Dino Melai. I have so many other distinguished senators here present. The senators from Akwaibom here present. All distinguished senators, members of the National Assembly. Let me appreciate the Secretary to the State Government and his dear wife, members of the Presidential Campaign Council, our royal fathers, the Okui Bobibibio, Chairman, State Council of Chiefs, the Oni of Ife, many paramount rulers here present and their spouses. Let me recognize our State Chapter Party Chairman and his dear wife. Let me also recognize the entire members of the National Committee of our party, the State Esco of our party, so many people here present, people from other political parties here present. That's why I didn't mention the name of the party, I said our party because I know so many parties are here present at this election time. Honorable members of the Aquabum House of Assembly and their spouses, chairman of boards and commissions, members of the academia here, my brother John Kennedy, and so many other clergymen that are here present. Let me especially recognize our CAN chairman, our PFN chairman, the chairman, government house prayer team, and all the members, and so many clergymen that are here. Captains of industry, our sponsors from Ibom Air, Zenit Bank, our incoming governor of Akwaibom State, and his running mate, and the guest artist, so many people here present. Please permit me, while I sincerely appreciate the representative of my dear father, my late father, and my mother, and my in-laws here present. These have been my pillars of support over the years. Guest artists, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, permit me not to extend the protocol longer than that. I just welcome everybody, but especially, 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 can all of us here present put our hands together for our guest minister for tonight. Please help me welcome our own guest minister, the senior pastor of the Salvation Ministries, David Ibiomi who will break the bread of life this night. Thank you, sir, for coming. Akwaibom, praise the Lord. Nigeria, praise the Lord. Africa, praise the Lord. I am lost for words. Wow, what a surprise. I want to appreciate the permanent secretary and open on panel for such great presentation you have just made. You have, by the presentation, shortened my speech by half. You have so nicely, 
so expansively and so transparently shown the world some of the projects you've used our resources to touch lives, to create and live enduring legacy of impact and to challenge our people to rise and go forward and never backwards. As I've always said, we came to serve our people. As a professional in politics, we needed to do things a little differently. I am glad to observe that you have even gone beyond what I had in my speech to show the breadth and extent of the progress and development across sectors that we have made. I give thanks to God Almighty who imbued in us the capacity, the spirit of transparency, of character and abiding love for our people and also to our resourceful and great archivomites for your prayers, support and trust we have enjoyed from you in the past almost eight years running. This is not a validity speech that will come next year. So let's get to the business of this night. We are gathered here again on these hallowed grounds as we have done in the last seven years to raise our voices and join our hands and faith in singing praises to the Most High, the author and the finisher of our faith, the Savior of mankind, whose season of birth is the reason we are in this joyous mood of thanksgiving, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us, therefore, from the white boulevards of our beautiful and serene capital of Rio City, to the sandy beaches of Ibno, to the Rafia city of Ikorekbene, to the boisterous city of Lagos, to our beautiful capital city of Abuja, from the sleek and manicured streets of Cape Town, to the exotic and beautiful boulevards of Alexandra in Egypt, raise the cymbals and bring our flutes and let a Christological party begin tonight. Hello, Times Square in New York. Hello, Arc de Trump in Paris. Hello, Travagal Square in London. Greetings to the wonderful people of Cable Beach, the Bahamas, all over the world. This is one of the most highly anticipated gatherings of the press and worship events. And I'm happy and excited to welcome you to this party right here in the capital city of Nigeria called Uyo Best Kept Secret. Aquaibum State. The book of Revelations, chapter 7, verse 9, captures vividly the mood we are experiencing here. The mood of praise and worship. I quote, After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all of nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with robes and palms in their hands. You will agree with me, this is a great assemblage of our people, filled with joy and gratitude to our God. This is a season of love, of giving, of thanksgiving, and of unity, and of brotherhood. I would like you to stretch your hands and greet people next to you and tell them, our God is good. Our God is good. Thank you. All the time we are going forward in glory and in strength. This year's event is deeply special to me. It is the last I'm hosting as the governor of this blessed piece of godly real estate. By this time next year, and by the grace of the Almighty God, I'll be seated right here, if I'm invited, as a guest of our incoming governor, Pastor Umar Eno. Richly fulfilled that we had run a good race, and he would arise. Pastor Mano would arise and leverage on the legacy of impact we have created across all facets of our human experience and go even further to the Aquaibom story of peace, of development, economic growth, human capital development, prosperity, and Christ-centric leadership. The Aquaibom Christmas carols has grown in size and stature beyond the usual global December event commemorating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, across Christendom. It is not just about bringing celebrity gospel artists and powerful men of God to minister to us. This event, above all these, is about bringing ordinary people across the land and crannies of this wonderful state to engage in thanksgiving and show love, faith, hope, 
and unity in our common and shared dreams as a people. In demonstrating our resolve to create a global brand that will be reckoned with across the gospel music community in Nigeria and further encourage and reward these creative ministers to do even more in winning souls for the kingdom of God through music ministration, we wish to announce tonight the institution of the Emmanuel Award for Excellence in Gospel Music Ministry. Emmanuel means God with us, and nothing reveals the essence of God with us than the gospel music, which is the first instance is made possible by gospel music ministers, which is why I announced this word a word. The Emmanuel Award for Excellence in Gospel Ministry will be given every December during this event to the Nigerian gospel music artist who in the last 12 months of the preceding year has demonstrated extraordinary expressive talents and deep humanism and has been able to awaken new audiences to the transcendental power of the gospel through music ministration, teaching and performance. The maiden recipient of this award will be officially unveiled later tonight at this event. Fellow Aquibomites, we have every reason to be thankful to God and to sing praises to herald the birth of his son and our savior, Jesus Christ. About seven years ago, I stood here in my maiden appearance at this event as your governor and made a solemn pledge to serve you people diligently to apply the available resources to impact lives and change the trajectory of growth and development of our dear state. I promise to engender a new Christ-centered administration where the tones of civility, humility, love of our people, peace and development will form the binding articles of our engagement. You have seen the full manifestation of that solemn declaration from the presentation we have just seen to God be the glory. I had also stated that the machinations of the enemies of our state will not stand because our God is a supreme God and he will do supreme things in our lives. Today, more than seven years, he has indeed done great things in our lives. He has shown that those who believe in him and worship him in spirit and in truth will have a reason to celebrate and be filled continually with the spirit of thanksgiving. Our state today is nationally considered as one of the safest states to live, work, and invest in this nation. It was not always like this. Those dark and harrowing years of politically motivated violence are long gone. Today, you can traverse the length and crannies of our state at any hour in peace and safety. We have every reason to sing praises to the Lord and of course, in appreciation of the great collaborations we have enjoyed from our security agencies. I love the theme of this year's event, Go Forward. Yes, we are going forward and not backwards. We must go forward in loving one another by providing a shoulder for others to lean on. We must show love and a spirit of gratitude and we are doing here this evening to our Father, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. We must eschew hatred, blackmail, unbridled antagonism, and zero-sum game approach in our daily engagements. We must love our state, our culture, our leaders, our institutions, and come to the understanding that politics will come and politics will go. But the acquired spirit and the blood that flows in us will endure and bind us forever. We must not, as I've always said, destroy the cause of our unity in the name of politics. Politics should be practiced without bitterness, and the acrimony and stakeholders must not engage in acts that seek to divide and balkanize us. This have also made clear the day I took over that as a leader, I'm ready to be miscon misconstrued, misquoted, but that does not change who we are and the love for our people. Let me end this address by quoting from the speech I gave on this platform seven years ago. I quote, when the son of love 
and unity rises, the dark clouds of hatred and diverse tendencies will disappear. Our story of victory and accomplishments may be singular, but our destiny as a people is a shared enterprise. Unquote. I gave this seven years ago. We all have shared in this destiny, in this noble project of making a new Akwaibom state, of planting the seeds of prosperity in our land, where opportunity shall beckon, and our men and women will earn a living instead of begging for a living. This is a noble cause for which we are emotionally, spiritually, and psychologically investing, and nothing, I repeat, nothing will deter us. I believe we worked hard to fulfill that noble ideal as shown in the great presentation by our ever resourceful permanent secretary, Anyokweno Ipana, this night. As I said earlier, this will be my very last edition of this great and spiritually uplifting event as your sitting governor. However, looking back without necessarily sounding valedictory, with so much nostalgia, I cannot but give God all the glory for his benevolence, protection, guidance, and of course his grace and mercy, which has seen us all through the past seven and a half years. As we gather here tonight to offer thanks and praise to the one who has benevolently made all this possible, let us continue to work and grow together as a people, knowing fully well that the future is bright and quite promising. Let us show love to the less privileged, a hand to lift up those who may have fallen on hard times, and kindred spirit to all we may have come in contact with. Let us reject in its totality all forms of ethnicity and tribal sentiments. Let us also turn away from those people who preach violence as a springboard to leadership. Let us rather embrace peace and progress as we continually arise to the faith of greatness. We are going forward and never backward. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous year in advance. Akwaibom, Dakada, Amin, Medakanda, God bless you.